Hi, I'm Kirsten, and I'm on the customer advocacy team here at Esri. I work closely with the ArcGIS Pro team, and I'm excited to help you get started with an application that I'm personally passionate about. So why am I excited? ArcGIS Pro is an unprecedented release of Esri desktop software that enables you to work more efficiently and productively than ever before. It's a multi-threaded 64-bit application that facilitates smooth map display and parallel processing, it supports multiple map layouts in a single project. 2D, 3D visualization, editing, and spatial analysis are supported in one application. It can run alongside ArcMap and supports quick and easy migration of your existing GIS work. Its modern contextual ribbon-based interface makes it easy to use. And its tight integration with ArcGIS Online supports simple publishing and sharing of web layers and maps and scenes to your organization. As a customer advocate, I believe these, along with so many other powerful features of ArcGIS Pro, will change the way we work and the way we visualize the world. Maybe you've seen demos of ArcGIS Pro at Esri's user conference, heard your users talking about it, or maybe just read about it for the first time in a blog or on GeoNet. And now you're interested to get it installed and running for yourself or your users, but you're unsure how to start. Here are a few things that you'll need to know about getting started with ArcGIS Pro concurrent use licensing. There are two licensing models available for ArcGIS Pro, named user and concurrent use. With ArcGIS Pro, the default license model authenticates the software via named users managed through ArcGIS Online. These licenses follow a user identity model, which works well with the rest of the ArcGIS platform. However, the concurrent use option might be a good fit for you if your organization already manages ArcGIS for desktop licenses via License Manager, or if you have security or firewall requirements. First, if you're the primary maintenance contact for your organization, you'll need to download the ArcGIS Pro install file from MyEsri and make it available to users on your internal network. Notify your end users of the install file location. If you're a site administrator and or primary maintenance contact, you'll need to consider the best licensing option for the organization. If you decide on using the concurrent use or hybrid option, you'll need to take additional steps. First, you'll need to provision the licenses through MyEsri by allocating the number of licenses for concurrent use. The standard provisioning and authorization steps apply and can be found at desktop.arcgis.com. Then, you'll need to notify your end users which method to use for logging into ArcGIS Pro. If you're an end user, install ArcGIS Pro on your machine from the location provided by your site administrator. Once your site administrator has configured concurrent use licensing for ArcGIS Pro, simply launch the application and choose the configure licensing option to pick your license level to get started. Let's take a quick look at logging into ArcGIS Pro. Launch ArcGIS Pro to open the sign-in screen. To authorize Pro with a concurrent use license, you'll need to configure the authorization settings. Click Configure Your Licensing to open the Configure Authorization screen. If you attempt to configure licensing options and receive an error, contact your site administrator. Select the Concurrent Use License option from the License Type dropdown. Select a license level. I'll select Advanced. Provide the host name of the server hosting the license manager. And notice that all ArcGIS extensions hosted on the license manager as well as the core license that you selected are displayed. Click OK to start Pro. To review licensing information, click Licensing on the Project tab. Here you'll find the concurrent use license level you selected, the available Esri extensions, additional licensing settings, there's also an option to authorize ArcGIS Pro to work offline. Clicking on this checkbox will borrow the selected core license and extension licenses from the license manager and hold them locally so that Pro can be used when disconnected from a network. Additionally, you can choose the number of days you'd like to take your concurrent use license offline. By default, the maximum number of days allowed by your license manager will be displayed, which is a default of 30 days. Choosing to go offline will borrow all enabled licenses. If I enable my 3D Analyst extension and choose to work offline, I'll borrow both my Advanced and my 3D Analyst extension for those 30 days. Once you've taken a license offline, you can't change your extension configuration. 
you have to return the licenses to make a change. You can return the licenses by connecting back to the network and then unchecking the checkbox. If you need to switch to another license type, change the license level, or change the license manager, click on Configure Your Licensing Options to go back to the Configure Authorization screen. Activating ArcGIS Pro may be new to you. Here are some answers to common questions about how to authorize and use ArcGIS Pro. I'm managing my ArcGIS Pro licenses via the named user model in ArcGIS Online or Portal for ArcGIS. Can I switch to concurrent use licenses? Yes. For those managing ArcGIS Pro licenses through ArcGIS Online, simply revoke and reallocate the licenses you wish to provision for concurrent use using MyEsri. For those managing ArcGIS Pro licenses through Portal for ArcGIS, please contact your customer service representative for further assistance as additional steps are needed. Are ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro licenses authorized using the same license manager? Does ArcGIS Pro use the same licenses as ArcMap? ArcGIS Pro licenses are provisioned using standard provisioning workflows and are authorized using the same license manager as ArcMap. Site administrators will need to authorize ArcGIS Pro licenses in addition to their ArcMap licenses. Otherwise, ArcGIS Pro will not start when users point to the license manager from their ArcGIS Pro authorization settings. This also means that if one end user is running ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro simultaneously, then an ArcMap license and an ArcGIS Pro license will be consumed. Will I need a named user account to access ArcGIS Online Maps and Services in ArcGIS Pro? If I've authorized ArcGIS Pro with a concurrent use license? Yes. A named user account is required to access ArcGIS Online Maps and services as well as to publish content you've created with ArcGIS Pro to the web. One of the many benefits of being on maintenance is that you receive one named user account for every ArcGIS for Desktop license you have on maintenance. For any questions about license management, contact Esri Customer Service. If you'd like to acquire additional licenses of ArcGIS Pro, contact your account manager. And now you know. I hope you're as excited about ArcGIS Pro as I am. Look for more videos about the different ways ArcGIS Pro can transform your work.